Let's bring in our chief election and campaign correspondent, Robert Costa. Let's take a look at this race. Already Nikki Haley saying she is still moving forward. What remains for her the biggest challenge? What a moment politically to watch tonight. The former ambassador got on that stage fast. She wanted to define the night on her terms. She may not have won New Hampshire, but she's plowing ahead in this race. And that confidence you saw in her remarks tonight, that's a message to every Republican leader and donor in the country. I'm in this race through South Carolina and through Super Tuesday. Will she have the money and support to continue a campaign for the next couple months? We'll keep watching the results tonight here at CBS News, but if it's within single digits, and she has this confidence in her message. You can expect millions to start pouring into the Haley campaign in the coming days. Her top ally in this state, New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu, told me earlier today they're calling the bluff on the Trump campaign. Ed O'Keefe talked about the pain she can expect in South Carolina. They say bring it on. They don't believe the Republican Party really wants to get behind Trump again in many of the traditional quarters of the GOP, and they're moving ahead. This race just narrowed to two people, and we know that one out of five voters say they made their decision with the last couple of days and they broke heavily for Nikki Haley. What does that suggest about these future contests? It suggests that Nikki Haley is going to play for suburban voters nationwide. Undeclared voters, Republicans who are more independent minded in their thinking, especially on issues like abortion, where she's taken a bit of a different tack and how she's framed the issue. She talked about that in her conversation with you earlier this week. And you see her now looking to states like Colorado, Utah, Virginia on Super Tuesday. Can she make a coalition that's different than Trump and bring the GOP back to what it was at some point, but it'll still have some attraction to Trump voters. Let's talk about how Joe Biden and the Democratic Party will run against potentially Donald Trump. They just put out a statement saying the MAGA movement has taken over the Republican Party. They're ready to run against former President Trump. Tonight's result complicates the Biden campaign strategy. They're now shifting over some of their top strategists from the White House to Wilmington, Delaware, because they're readying for that fight against Trump. But they, that fight against Trump now might be pushed back a month or two if Haley really stays in this race. A total shakeup moment in American politics tonight. If Haley sticks to what she said tonight on stage, that she's in this race, well, this race isn't over. The general election hasn't begun just yet. Much more to watch. Robert Costa, good to be with you tonight.